got these four 2022 color changers. Take a good look at them. And what we're going to do is we're going to modify them for speed because they're very light. But the thing about these color changers are they all have nickel plated axles, which means less friction, which means, you know, more free spinning wheels. So all they like is a little weight. So we're going to run them like they are. Then we're going to add a little weight and we're going to see what differences are made. All right, we got the 67 Camaro in lane three on the fat track. Billy Goat lane two on the fat track. Unworked. Let's see how they run on the fat track so we can compare them later. Winner, lane two. Oh, they couldn't make it around the second turn. And that's what I was afraid of. Now say he's only 25 grams. Hadn't weighed the billy goat. He's not much more though. But I will weigh them before and after mods when I get them in the shop and give you all that information. But I guarantee you that once these cars are weighted, they'll not only make it around these curves, but they'll fly around these curves. Stay tuned. And now we have the Dodge Custom Van 2022 color changer in lane three, the F-150 lane two. Both unworked for the fat track to see what they can do for comparisons after modifications. Winner, lane two. That F-150 is doing really good. Dodge didn't make it around the curve. F-150 is surprising. He, I believe he would have made it if he hadn't come off the track. Good job. Okay, we got the Dodge Custom 2022 color changer in lane three. F-150 in lane two. Unworked to see how they do on the fat track. Winner, lane two. That F-150 is turning it up. I believe the van got stuck in the curve. And that F-150 has finished the course. Unworked. Unworked. Good job. You will be smoking when we add about 12, 14 grams to you, won't you? Back at the shop. Modifications on the color changes are about to begin. The 67 Camaro will be first. All right, I got the rivets drilled out and on these color changers, the base will be metal and the body and the rivets are plastic. So they're not, they're easy to drill out. So let's see what we got. We can get it apart here. There we go. Yeah, so see what I have to, this will have to go so we can have room to put the weight right in here. And so far as weight goes, probably go with some of these curtain weights right here. They weigh 12 grams a piece. So if I can get two of them in there, Stacked up right here. Probably do something about this stud right here. So we have room. But So anyways, I'll get those put in. And then I'll be back with you. Stay tuned. Okay, now after looking at it a little closer. What I decided to do was knock the edges off this weight here. And, just, and I grinded the uh, little stud here down just a little bit. And that fits like socks on a rooster. I mean, it is a good fit. I mean, it is just sitting down in there just as nice as it can. So then, if we put another one on top of it, what I'd like to do 
if the body would allow us float it back like that but we'll see all right so here's what i wound up with that's gonna work fine so anyways that's 22 grams of added weight and the car still sits on there just fine now what i'm gonna do to make that look a little better is I'm gonna take the glass black it out and then I'm gonna paint this metal this uh, added weight right here I'm gonna paint it I'm gonna black it out and then we'll get it all back together see how she looks stay tuned all right let's see what we got here okay now I've got the weight in as I showed you earlier I've got it painted I went ahead and JB welded the top of the axles to lock them in. I should make it faster down the track too. And I cut the uh, interior out, but I've left the steering wheel and the dash in. So, and then on the body, I've got the glass blacked out. And super glued back in. Just one little drop of super glue in the in the roof. And here we have the other three color changers with the rivets drilled out. The Billy Goat only had one in the rear. The van only had one in the rear. And the F-150 had one front and back. Notice how I only removed enough of the plastic rivet to get the body off of the chassis. I didn't go deep enough to get into the metal chassis. And that will give us a good place for the screw to countersink. Keep in mind, the posts on these cars are plastic, not metal. And here they are, the other three color changers disassembled just a little bit of what we're going to do because the billy goat has glass all the way around we can easily conceal what's going on inside but if you look in his hood and where his headlights are you have to have this piece so what we've done is removed it from the rest of the interior, we just took an exacto knife and cut it off so that it can lay back in here like it's supposed to. It's going to be easy to add the weight because we're going to have a platform right there on the chassis. The van will be easy because he didn't have anything but this. You know that interior there so we have all that room to add weight the f-150 is going to be a challenge because there really wasn't anywhere to add weight unless you just wanted to put it in the bed and have it exposed but i didn't want to do that so the only thing i've come up with is to remove the back seats cut them out of the interior and then that creates like a little tub to put weight in the f-150 remember finished without any modifications. So he doesn't need as much weight as these others. The Billy Goat here, I'll be adding 27 grams. This one in the front has been notched to fit around this post right here. And then the other one will go on top of it. For like I said, a total of 27 grams. The van will be needed very little work to get it ready for the, just taking the interior out was enough. But we'll be adding 30 grams to the van. Now the truck, like I said, was going to be a challenge. And it was. And I said what we would have to do would be to take out, to make it look good, would be to take out, just take out the back seats and add weight. And that's what we've done. You look here. Back seats are gone. And that would allow these weights to fit right down in there now these weights equal up to 20 grams altogether 
when we get them all in. And that's how he'll sit. Instead of having uh, back seats, he'll have a uh, back end full of lead. But that's 20 grams. And if you remember, he finished the, the course, the fat track. Finished it pretty strong. Without anything. So with his wheels being worked and adding 20 grams, he is probably going to smoke that track. We'll see. And here's our friend back here, the 67. He's all done. His weight's added. And we'll put him back together. And here's the glass. It's been blacked out for these three. And here they are with the weights and the changes added. Did it make any difference? Of course it did question is who's the fastest now will the f-150 still be the fastest all right back to the track and here we have our modified color shifters we got them all weighted in and ready to go so whether we can see the differences from before they were modified so let's get to it all right, here we go. We're going to compare the drag times. See how much faster they are now. And a little bit is a lot on this track. So we have our customized 2022 color shifter Billy Goat lane four and our 67 Camaro color shifter lane six. How much of a difference will adding a little weight make? I don't know. Let's find out. Winner, lane six. And there's our times. And here we go with this heavyweight van coming in at 64 grams. Goo goobly goo. What a heavyweight. Versus what it was against this F-150 in lane four. About to run them and see how big a difference it made. I'm thinking a lot. Winner, lane four. And here's our times. Okay, we got the modified Billy Goat racked up for the fat track in lane two. The same lane he ran before he was modified. And we have the 67 Camaro in lane three. Will they finish the fat track this time? Or will they get stuck in that same curve that they got stuck in last time? I don't know. Let's find out. They seem to be a heck of a lot faster. Woo! They both smoked it through that curve. Heck of a difference. Oh, man. Oh, we got a pass going on. Woo! Did he get it in time? What a race. That certainly made those color changes a lot more fun, didn't it? Lane swap. Let's run them again. He got us a race. Oh, Billy Goat slowing down for some reason. What happened to you, Billy Goat? Billy Goat lost his momentum. Oh, the Billy Goat turned around backwards is what happened. He finished in reverse. What are you doing, boy? We have the modified F-150 in lane two, the same lane he ran in before modifications and the van in lane three. 
Well, either one of them finished the track now. They're off to a good start. They both got around the second turn. That F-150 is smoking that van. And he finally makes it. But they both finished the track and daggum. F-150, is my track not long enough for you, old boy? You just had to test that four-wheel drive. Do you even have four-wheel drive in that thing? I don't know. You thought you did. Lane swap, just to be fair. Can we get two finishes again? Winner, Woo, that F-150's fast. He's gonna come off the track again. Nope, not this time. And the van didn't finish because he was trying to do it in reverse. Are you copycatting somebody around here? We're gonna run them all down the enduro and see what they do. We're gonna run the van first. How far can he go? Uh-oh. Can he make it around that curve? Oh, no. He died in dead man's curve. Oh, well. He made it a lot further than you would have. I'm going to put you right here for the mark. And get ready for the next. All right, here we go, Billy Goat. After being modified on the endurance track. Can he beat the van? Can he make it around Dead Man's Curve? Let's find out. He's got a pretty good run going. Oh, he makes it around Dead Man's Curve. Good job. So we have to mark you with the barrel. Right there. Who's next? 67 Camaro racked up on the endurance track. Can he beat the van? And then if he can, can he get past the bully, the billy goat? Bully goat. I don't know. Let's find out. Woo, he's got a good run going. Got a real good run going. Woo, come on, yes. Nice run, Camaro. We'll move the barrel. Can the F-150, the only color changer left, beat this mark? Let's find out. He's racked up in the endurance lane right now. Got a strong run going. I believe he's gonna do it. Oh, is he gonna do it? And then some blew him all away. There's the record. That barrel right there marks the record. And he almost got to it. Heck of a race, F-150. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Right there.